Whenever an enterprise interview asks you, can you design a rack pipeline for our company? They are not testing the vector search or embedding. They are testing whether you think like an AI architect or a tutorial engineer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to answer perfectly in the interviews so that you won't miss that chance. Let's start with simple foundation as why are these companies are interested about this question? It sounds trivial, right? But still, companies are still asking this question. See, this question comes up because the enterprises, they don't want the plain retrieval or the validated answers. What they are looking at is, they are looking at the important scenarios, what we call it as the decision-ready context. They want governance and what they also want is the safety. So these are the key things that actually makes the enterprise application as the enterprise application, not some random uh, things about the application that we are building. Now, how can you answer these kind of questions in an interview? So in an interview, I want you to just remember and say this. So say this as RAG means retrieval of the internal knowledge, augmenting the LLM reasoning, and lastly, producing the validated answers. So by implementing this RAG stack in the enterprises, the companies can safely use this as an information for processing. Just mention this as the rack stack with the retrieval of the internal knowledge with validated answers. So exactly that and it will sound powerful. Now, how is it that you can follow along whenever you're answering something related to the rack? So my recommendation is follow this three-part interview framework. So when someone asks you as, design me a rack pipeline then in such scenario you start with knowledge layer then go to the retrieval layer followed by the validation layer so let me break this down so if i start if i want to start with this knowledge layer this is where the knowledge of the enterprise leaves so here we will have the internal documents and the private data sources this can be run books this can be knowledge base it can be compliance document, it can be domain specific technical assets. All those would be part of this knowledge layer. Now on top of this knowledge layer, you will actually perform the chunking. That means you will split this document and save it in a vector format using the embedding model. And it will be stored inside a special database that's called as the vector database so that we can perform the semantic based searching that means we can send in the query and get the relevant documents okay and more importantly whenever you're implementing these chunks don't forget to mention about the metadata driven filtering because at the end of the day in the enterprise level we will never be simply storing the chunks we will be storing the chunks with the metadata. This is what I've seen many candidates miss. In the toy example that you might have seen, you might not use the metadata, but at the enterprise scenario, it's critical to have this metadata driven filtering. Then what we have is the retrieval layer. Now, this is a layer where we embed the query. We execute the semantic search. It is going to apply the security filters. In some cases, we might also apply the filtering that we would get from the incoming data. And based on that, we are going to retrieve only the relevant information. We call it as top K retrieval. That means we're going to generate the top K number of results so that that will be used as the additional context for our LLM. And another key thing over here is we have to ensure that we retrieve only relevant domain knowledge. And this is what we talk about the validated retrieval of the data. 
okay now the third framework or the third layer is the validation layer this is where the simple rag becomes the enterprise rag so here we cite the sources we score the confidences and we validate before we generate the final answer and this is called as the validation layer so by explaining in terms of this three part interview framework that there is knowledge layer retrieval layer validation layer first of all the interviewer will will be able to understand that you know the stuff and you are someone who are covering everything at the enterprise level agree with me perfect so now let's move ahead now let's take a look into the enterprise example so that all of this would become much more clear to you if i want to give you an enterprise example so let's say in our incident uh, resolution system that we have got whenever a ticket comes in okay the agents will retrieve the operational runbook and here when it is retrieving it will perform the filtering based on the incoming service or the service request then it will validate with the help of confidence scoring and then only it will go ahead and propose the resolution plan so that's a very simple explanation about validated rag in the production environment now what are the key words that you have to utilize in your interview when you're answering this question so first and foremost when you're explaining about retrieval ensure you use the keywords such as validated retrieval instead of just simple retrieval and ensure that you refer as internal knowledge with security controls the third element can be apply the security filters that means uh, maybe you will also go ahead and specifically talk about how what kind of filtering that you would apply based on the customer profile or the incoming metadata the third thing is talk about citations and confidence scoring then human in the loop which is also known as the human approval specifically for the high risk workflows so these are the words that make you sound enterprise ready so how can you explain this flow in 20 seconds let me just give you a quick overview about this architecture flow explanation so whenever you are giving an answer never give an answer like i'm going to fetch some top k result from my vector database so i'll say that that's a student level so whenever you're answering these questions ensure that you focus on safety governance validation and approval steps this is what the differentiates between the student application and the enterprise application that we implement now a perfect answer can be something like this a rack pipeline is something that retrieves the internal knowledge using the vector database then validates the information with citations and confidence scoring produces the safe context aware answers which are suitable for the llm use cases now these can be incident resolution and decision support so when you mention and explain the rag in this format you're gonna sound more uh, confident and more importantly the enterprise ready all right guys now if you want to get the hands on with enterprise rag with validation tool execution approval layers and more importantly the workflows so this is exactly what we implement inside our agent tki enterprise bootcamp so the link is in the description and i'll also be sharing the weekly interview prep videos in our youtube channel too so stay subscribed over here and i look forward to help you in your agent journey and i'll see you next time